Hello everybody, today we're here to talk about my vacation budget. And today is the first day I'm going back to work, so I just got out of the shower, so don't mind that. And also, don't mind the nails, they're a hot mess, I apologize now. But we're going to talk about my budget. If you didn't see the live video, we had some unexpected weather that delayed our travel. And I'm going to show you what it did to our budget. <laughs> All right, everybody, like I said, we're gonna talk about our travel budget. We're gonna talk about our vacation. I might throw a couple vacation pictures in here. On my other channel, I'll probably put um, the actual, some more vacation pictures and videos. So this is my travel binder. If you are brand new to my channel, um, I wanna give a huge shout out to my friend Rochelle over at Rochelle Adamson Budgets for giving me, me the idea. It's the first time that I've ever budgeted like this. And so you can see it is completely empty. And we're gonna talk about what we, uh, paid what we had um, budgeted and how much we spent. All right, let's talk about our budget. Now, what I'm talking about right now are the categories that I had with me when I went to Mexico. So I'm not talking about the excursions that were already prepaid. I'm not talking about airport parking that was prepaid. Well, for the most part, stuff like that was already paid for. Also not talking about the vacation itself. We're just talking about the money that we had to go on vacation. I broke it down into categories. The first category was airports. And you can see right here that I gave myself $240. This was checking four bags, two ways. So that's where I came up with the $240. I didn't think about maybe there would be taxes or other fees. And we also did a seat change on one of the flights. And of course, as most people know that travel with the airlines now, if you want to choose where you sit, then you pay extra money. And so we did go over $13.99 for airports. So not too bad, but still a little bit over. Then we've got spending. And so this right here was $100 for me and $100 for my hubby. That's how we decided to do that. That was for any souvenirs we wanted to buy, anything else that might come up. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys. There we go. So now you guys can see better. So here we bought some souvenirs, some different things. I bought some vanilla for myself, also for Julia, and some other gifts. Also needed a baby gift. And then we always get a Christmas ornament when we go to Mexico. And so we spent $33, $16, and $35 on souvenirs and gifts. And then we also booked a third uh, scuba dive. We didn't pay for this before, so it is in here. We had to figure out how we were going to pay for it. So I took $66 out of the spending money and put it towards paying for that third dive. That means that we only spent $150 out of $200, so we're under $50. Bucks. So very happy about that. And then we get to eating out. For eating out, I gave us $200. This was um, just to make our way to the airport, be at the airport, and on the way back. And so um, you can see right here that we were under. And so we had breakfast at the airport the morning we flew out. And holy cow, it was expensive. $72.22. This was for two orders of avocado toast and three breakfast sandwiches. And I believe one coffee, a couple hot chocolates. And I think that was it. So $72.22. And then vending. I know you guys, it was 40 bucks in the vending machine. This is when we came back and we're stuck in the airport. So $40 there. And then when we came back, um, we came back later. And so we ended up dropping my daughter and her boyfriend off and it was dinner time. So we went to Cafe Rio and spent $63.43. So that means we spent $175.65 out of our 200. And that meant that we were under by $24.35. Looking good. And of course, this breakfast, this dinner, this vending, um, they included my daughter and her boyfriend, and this breakfast included the friend that was with us. So that was for five people, but still, airport food, right? Now we're at miscellaneous. You can see there's some white out on here, and I'll explain to you why when I get over to this column. So we had miscellaneous stuff. When we got there, we had a hotel charge for $30. I believe that was for an environmental charge is what that was. And then I put here, Julia lost paper. If you've ever traveled to Mexico, um, they give you a piece of paper. When you come through, they say, do not lose this piece of paper. Um, she lost it. Uh, we're thinking that she actually lost it like when they were searching her luggage when we landed in Mexico, but neither here nor there. So we had to pay $31.58 so she could get the paper she needed to leave the country. So $61.58 out of the $100 miscellaneous. So we were under $38.42. Then we had our fun spending. This is a normal category that we have each month for us. And this category 
we decided to go ahead and use it. This is how we paid for the rest of our scuba diving. We had to pay $15.62 um, when we did our dives. Um, this was for all three of us that were scuba diving. These are environmental fees for the park. So it was $5 a piece plus tax. And then for the third dive, we went ahead and took the rest of the third dive out of this. So $100 is what we had in there for the month. So 100% on budget for that. Our last category was tips. Now, we took with us $540, and we spent $443, so that left us with $97. Now, I did not keep track of tips as we gave them. So I realized this, I just counted the money that we had left over, but I realized that $40 of this was money that our friend had given us towards some of the expenses over here. So we actually spent $483, but we still have the cash. So we're saying that we were under $97. Now let's talk about this next column and see what happened. So we got delayed in Dallas, Texas. Um, I did a live at the airport, not while we were delayed, but when we were finally able to get out, I am in contact with American Airlines trying to get some of the money back. I do not know if I'll be able to get anything. I'm hoping maybe some travel vouchers or something, but it is weather related and in the United States, um, you don't have protections. They don't have to give you anything when the delays are caused by weather. And so still working on it, not giving up yet, but let's talk about what this did to our budget. I didn't add up what all of these were. So before we get into this column really quick, let's figure this out. So we were under $50 in spending, but we were over $13.99 in the airports. We were under $24.35 in eating out. We were under $38.42 in miscellaneous. We were on budget in fun spending. And then for tips, we were under $97. So that means if travel had went how it was supposed to go, we would have come home with $195.78. Well, let me subtract that $40 our friend gave us. So we would have come home with $155.78 under budget for all of our spending categories and everything else was already prepaid. Super happy about that. Well, as we all know, things don't always work out how they're supposed to. So we got stuck in Dallas for two days um, because we missed our flight due to weather and there is quite a story with, for that. So we have a lot of unbudgeted expenses because these were not planned things. So that's what we're calling these. We're calling these unbudgeted. So we had the first Uber trip from the airport to the hotel. This was at 2.30 in the morning. So it was 48.20 with tip. Then we had the return trip back to the airport two days later. This was $54.23. Then we had hotel rooms. Now, I paid for two hotel rooms, um, and I am trying to get reimbursed for both of them. However, if I don't get reimbursed for both of these, then the friend that went with us, one of the rooms was his, so he's going to pay for it. So $276.92 for one and $276.95 for the other. No, that's not a mistake on my part. That's what was charged to my credit card. And then we got pizza delivered for lunch the first day. We didn't get to the room until about three o'clock in the morning. And you're gonna see down here, we've got some hotel food and I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this is lunch the next day, so 83.60. Then we got DoorDash delivery for some chicken. And my husband's probably gonna kick my butt. It's a chicken place in Texas that he really wanted to get. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway, so this is for five people. Both of this is for five people. And of course you guys know DoorDash is expensive. So 108.07 for that meal. Then food at the hotel. This right here, $43. This is for the four of us. Our friend went to bed, um, but the rest of us were starving. We had breakfast at the all-inclusive resort, got to the airport, got there really early. So they put us on an earlier flight. We got cookies on the plane and we had some snacks and stuff and we were stuck on the plane for over 10 hours. So this is the first food that we had had since breakfast that day. This is probably about midnight, one o'clock is when this expenditures happened. So $43, um, or I'm sorry, this was at the hotel. So $43 at the hotel. This is like frozen burritos, hot pockets, silly things like that. Uh, bottles of water, soda, you know, things like that. Then we had Chick-fil-A at the airport the morning that we flew out. Then we had an extra expenditure for parking because our vehicle was there two days later than it was supposed to be. 
And so that was $23.45. Now I did go ahead and put the vending in here um, because I don't have any good receipts for spending money on the vending machine. So this 40 bucks truly is over in this category, but that's neither here nor there. So you add all of that up and we had $967.79 in unbudgeted expenses. Uh, yeah, that's almost as much as we brought for the whole trip. Not really, but it seems like it. So let's talk about how that's going to break down. So I requested $967.79 from American Airlines. If we do not get any sort of money back, then our friend Randy is going to pay $340 back to us. Um, he gave us the 20 bucks towards pizza and towards DoorDash, so that's not part of his, but the hotel room was his own and then split the Ubers. And so that brings us down, us personally, as a family of four, down to $627.79 over budget. Then I decided to go ahead and take my under budget amount of $195.78 and apply it to this right here. So right now, if we don't see a single penny from American Airlines, we are 432.01 over budget. So not awful, not horrendous, but still not a great way to, you know, end your vacation. So if any of you guys know any tips on getting money from the airlines, <laughs> please let me know. And yes, I do know some people are going to be like, well, you just stand in line and get a voucher and then they'll give you a voucher. The line was the longest line that I have ever seen in an airport for something like that because in Dallas they had a ton of rain and because of the lightning and the rain I think there was over a hundred flights affected so you figure out how many people are on a hundred flights that need to get rebooked rescheduled all of that type of stuff we stood in line for about three hours and we're still probably eight to ten hours from the front of the line so I didn't feel like standing in line um, waiting for it, but I did see people getting vouchers for things. And at our hotel, the lady asked us for our voucher. And so she had seen lots of vouchers that day. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but Mexico went amazing. So the moral of the story is here. Always make sure you've got extra money in your budget for the unexpected, because that is just how it is. And that's part of traveling and it's nobody's fault. You know, the weather did what it did, and we had a lot of fun. And Texas, we just stayed in the room, honestly, you guys, because we already took two Ubers to the hotel, and we were just in an area where I could find room. So it wasn't like we were buying anything, um, because with that many flights being canceled, all the airport hotels, of course, were full. So we were about, I think, 15 or 20 minutes from the airport. All right, everybody. So that's what we spent on our vacation budget. Nothing too exciting. I wanted to be 100% transparent with you guys and show you what we actually spent. Our goals when we go to the all-inclusives is to enjoy our time at the resort. We don't spend a lot of money on eating out. We don't spend a lot of money on spending things. My husband and I, we got a Christmas ornament. That's all we got. And I got some vanilla. And the rest of this is just for a couple people in our lives. And, you know, you can go on vacation and stay within budget as long as the weather doesn't hit. All right, everybody. And that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I apologize for the scary nails. Hopefully soon I'll have time to get those done. I want to thank everybody that um, sent me positive thoughts that prayed for us to be able to get home because, you know, being stuck in uh, the airport is not ideal, but it happens. So thank you guys for joining me today for this Mexico budget update. And remember guys, until I see you next time, to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.